That's some migrants. I'm assuming. My question is, when their 60 days is up, can they go back to the Roosevelt? If it's a family, can they go back to the Roosevelt and try to uh, get some kind of housing? Yeah, I think there's some, some migrants. I'm almost 100% sure they're migrants. There's no way you're gonna be with book bags going to the Roosevelt like this, this late at night. My Philly senses tell me they're migrants. So the next 20 yards, they should be making a right. So I'm eventually going in the front of the Roosevelt. Let's see what they're going to do. See what they do. I'm following them. Exclusive footage. Only your boy, the one and only Philly Dom, can bring this type of uh, footage. Nope. Oh, yeah, they are. They're going. Yeah, they're going to. Uh, they're going to the Roosevelt. They're going to the Roosevelt. Some migrants. Yeah. It's a little action in front of here. Ooh, so, uh, and that's the Roosevelt guys right there. That's the Roosevelt Hotel right there. So they got a little bit of action tonight. They got a little bit of action. It's not that late, but they got a little bit of action tonight. Oh yeah, they got all their bags. Still arriving. Moon. And there's some migrants that just walked out. Right there. Crossing the street. Yo! The paper. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Oh, they're going in there. See, just like that. Just me walking here. I ain't here. See what I see? That quick. Now, right there in front of the, the Rosa Tower. There they go. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> city I'm coming out of Port Authority just like the migrants would be coming out of Port Authority this is where they dropped that right here Port Authority bus station and then they would have to go to the Roosevelt Hotel so let's go check on them on this uh, cold 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 day in New York and you're freezing out with the one and only Philly Dom. 
you get rocking out, you're freezing out with the one and only Philly Dom. Right now, let's go to the Row Hotel and let's see what's going on there. But you're freezing out with the one and only Philly Dom. Woo! A lot of people out tonight. Oh man, not looking good for the migrants. Because this weather, uh, let me cross over this way. Shout out to my friend Amy. Appreciate you, appreciate the support. You know who you are. I'm gonna work on trying to get a warmer jacket for this weather. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Okay, guys, we're going towards the row, the NYC Row Hotel. That's one of the luxury hotels where the migrants are staying at. So let's check that place out. Uh, not too late out here. It's around like uh, 8 50, 9 p.m. I know people always ask me, What time is it, Philly? What time is it? Well, that's the time. I'm gonna walk around and check out the different places. Get to stand. Never get these pretzels. I had a stale pretzel from here. I'll never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool guy, but I'll never get a pretzel from here again. You know, this is the hustle and bustle of New York City. I gotta start wearing gloves, man. Woo, it's always noise, there's always something going on. In the Big Apple. In the Big Apple, there's always something going on. Oh yeah. We are fully, 100%, 100%. Well, there's an ambulance over there, that's what's going on. But we're 100% in winning here. And you know it's definitely not good for the migrants. A lot of them are from places where the climate doesn't get this cold. And uh, they're running out of places to stay. Hold on, hold on, this noise is, is irritating, but it's an ambulance, I love to see it. Oh, sorry. It's always something going on in New York City. I don't know what the weather is, but I can tell you it's not warm. But we're walking up on the NYC Row should be on this block right here or street they call it as well did you guys hear about the food shortage did you hear about the food shortage in NYC we'll talk about that in a little bit while we're out here walking around okay so we're right here at the NYC Row, right here. This is it right here. You hear so many different languages spoken in New York. Okay, we're gonna walk this way. Let you guys see what's going on. We're approaching the migrants, just hanging out, you know, that's all they can do. Let's hang out. It's so cold. They're all hanging out, as you can see, on the side of the building. This is the. Whew. Man, they got winter jackets on and stuff. People ask. They survive in the best way they can. They're hanging on the sides of the buildings and everything. Oh, it's cold out here. Damn, people talking me and everything. This is it. This is the NYC Row. This is one of the hotels where they're staying. Oh, it's 
stay right here and let you see what's going on with the traffic, everything that's going on in here. This is it. NYC Road across the street. That's the scooter situation. Oh. And they just hang along the walls right here and they just hang out, smoke cigarettes, smoke other stuff. I mean, there's not really much they can do, man. They're dealing with this weather. It's not really too much they can do, man. You know, not, a lot of them are not used to the weather, but that's what they got to do. So they're going in right there, as you can see where I'm at. So, to see everything that's going on. It's cold out here, man. So the struggle was real for them. Um, the other day, I saw some migrants sleeping on the street, so you know, it's rough, it's rough for them. It's rough, it's rough, it's rough. New York is at the end of that rope. Just giving you live footage, let you see how they're living here. And this is the entrance when they come through at the NYC Road right here. This is the entrance right here. Okay. Let's cross the street so you can see these notorious scooters that we so much talk about. And usually, like, they just hang up against the wall. All of them hang against the wall. They just hang against the wall. So we're going to circle this place twice. Well, yeah, this is migrants. They're all hanging out. I'm passing them right now. I'm passing them right now. They're just all hanging out. Surviving the best way they can. The weather is... Uh, this is a brutal, a brutal, brutal, brutal. Sorry, with my East Coast accent. Brutal, brutal, brutal night. As far as weather. It's, it's definitely not... Uh, it's definitely not warm. And these are the scooters. You know, I guess they ain't gonna really be... Uh, riding these scooters like that, but this is scooters. They got New York looking like a hot mess. <laughs> these are the scooters right here that they ride. And uh, if we walk down a little bit, they'll all be just hanging out. I'm gonna loop this twice so you guys can see it. I guess they, this is a generator right here. And uh, at night, you know, when it's not too many people out, because it's still early, so a lot of people be out. Um, the lights come on, so they can light up the scooters so they can see what's going on. But you know, as long as all these businesses are operating and everything, everything's okay. But this is what they do. This is, we're getting real live footage from the one and only Philly Dom that you see how the migrants are living. They do. And, you know, like I said, they smoke cigarettes and they smoke and other stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Ooh. 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 They girls just all hang out right here. That's what they do. Like it's just hang out. You see it? How they living? Ooh. Like I said, we're gonna loop it around with these guys. Uh, look like they do Uber Eats or one of the apps. So they just waiting for a call and then they. They go, but you can see they have winter jackets and everything. They, they're adapting, you know? Anybody would take a trip, anybody that would take a trip, all be from their country. Oh. Anybody that would take a trip, all be from their country. And walk up there to the US. Yes, I said walk, let me say it again walk up here from that country to the U.S. Walk up here from that country to the U.S. Um, they have to make it happen. So, you know, they're adapting the best way they can. That's all they can do is adapt. You know, they don't, that's all they can do is adapt. So we're across the street again. This is at the row. I want to make sure you guys get a good, 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 good look at the NYC Row Hotel. Man. It's freezing, 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 freezing. Let me tell them. Oh, shoot. Almost got ran over right there. Almost got ran over. I backed up. He went forward. I backed up. He went forward. Oh. Yeah. Let me go over this way. I like when I mix it up every time. 
right there the guards ain't really giving me no trouble to that on the why but that's where they go right there this is it right here let's just see what's going on freezing man. freezing and they just all hang out stay right here let you see i'm just trying to give you a feel on how they living and don't forget you rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Give my videos a like. We having a problem, guys. Some more migrants coming out. We have a lot of people watching my channel, but they're not subscribing. So please subscribe to the channel and make sure you give the video a like. And you rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. And you it's cold out here, man. It's cold out here. Woo! Huh? Yeah. Said, what are you going with the farmer? I'm a YouTuber, buddy. It's my job. It's my job. It's my job. Woo! I'm just giving you a good feel of everything. But most of the migrants are dressed comfortable as they can be, and they survive in the best way they can. This is like raw footage. The news doesn't even show you this, but this is the raw, 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 raw footage. Mm -hmm. Make my way across the street real quick so I can let you see the sign of the NYC road. Hold on, man, it's freezing, man. I, I'm not liking this weather, man. You guys know I'm a traveler. You know I'll be in different countries. I am not. I'm not digging this at all. But here it go. Here it go right there. Oh, they the police right there. I didn't even realize that. They got the police securing the building at night. That was it. the police right there. This is it right here, if you can see it. That's it. The road NYC. Let me cross the street a little bit. Give you guys a better, get a better, better view. You know, these are notorious scooters we all, we all know of. Right here, and I'm doing it at night. Most people don't even record it at night. Boom. There we go. There we go. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's it. Okay. And this, um, <laughs> this hotel got a lot of people in there. And you can see people moving out with their bags and stuff. Migrants coming in. Migrants going out. As you can see. Oh. Oh. The police presence and everything. The migrants hanging out with their bags and stuff. I guess they go into another facility or I don't know, maybe they found a job. I don't know. You never know what the situation is, but this is where they at. This is it right here. Ooh. We're staying around a little bit longer. And that'll be it. And I go on to the next facility, but now you get the good feel of the NYC road. Because this is in depth. You see the people going in, you see them going out. Uh, I need somebody to come with me so I can um so I can also um interview them as much as I can, man. That would be good too. For the ones that want to talk. Sometimes a lot of people don't want to talk, they don't want to get interviewed. It's a tricky, tricky situation here in New York. Very tricky, tricky situation with, with the migrants. I don't know what they're telling them or anything like that, but they out here. This is how they are. This is how the migrants are. They're out here. Woo. So I'm making my way to the next, the next, the next place very soon. Let me cross the street one more time. Do I care? Let me cross it right here. And these are the scooters once again. I'm trying to get you guys the best footage so you guys can see what's going on. This is it. They're surviving, man. They're surviving. That's all they can do. 
So make sure you get a video like, uh, comment, tell me what you think about the situation. And um, let's go on to the next place. I was going to cross back over, but I'm going to go on to the next facility. And I'm in the bike lane right here. This is it. This is it. They're all hanging out. Oh, man. Footage, raw footage, raw footage. People ask where they get these nice jackets from. I don't know. I'm not the one that know. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know where they got the jacket from, but they're getting a lot of help. So they're getting money from the city, from New York. So they're getting a lot of help. So that's probably why some of them got some nice jackets, nice winter jackets. So from what I can see, from what I can see. I can look over here, some hand on the side of the wall here. They're adapting the best way they can, from what I can see. I got right on them. So like they're adapting the best way they can. Okay, let's go on to the next uh, facility. So now we're gonna go to this one facility. I always go here, I don't know the name of it. I feel bad, because I don't know the name of it, but it's on uh, 42nd. 42nd Street with anybody from New York and from Manhattan. So I'm gonna go there, we'll hang around there, and I'll let you see that facility as well. And please make sure to leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about this situation in in New York and you know throughout throughout the world. They said the UK is going through this as well. Canada is going through this. And uh, many other places are going through this migrant situation. I know it's an article everybody keeps telling me to read. I'm going to read the article. I know, I know when I get a chance, I will definitely read it about the migration. But, uh, it's definitely affected New York City. It's the point that the mayor had to do cuts. in every 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 uh like city department so police fire department school education uh sanitation the list goes on they even cut uh <laughs> libraries on sunday in new york so it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot going on And then right there, once again, that's the, uh, maybe we'll make a pit stop somewhere. That's Port Authority. And that's where they come in. That's where most of the migrants are bust up here. Some are flown, but most of them are bust up here. Man. I make this left right here. It's a little chilly out, man. Not a lot chilly, but it's a little chilly out here, for sure. Woo! It's cold out here. So, uh, we're on the street with other migrant hotel shelters at. So we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it there now. Oh, I didn't even know they had a movie theater there. She's learning a new thing every day. Huh? Oh. Little restaurant right here. We gotta walk up a little further on the other side of the street, so we don't make our way there. New York, man, the energy in New York is second to none. 
second to none. Passing his target right here. Woo, okay. This is the other. Okay, we're coming towards the other migrant hotel. That's Dave and Buster's right there. I don't Whew. I'm not used to this cold weather no more, even though I'm from Philadelphia. I'm Philly's own. I'm not used to this weather. No more. I don't even want to get used to it. You know, even though I had my run in uh, Alaska for a couple years. But here we go. We're approaching the other migrant hotel. You see the migrants all hanging out right here. They got the police out here. It's a lot going on. They're all hanging out against the walls right here. This is it right here. Is that raw footage? People are always moving in, they always moving out. <laughs> Got the police out here. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Oh, they're getting tickets. Look like they just giving them tickets. You see migrants right here with their bags and everything, so you know they could find a place to live. You know, we got a lot of cops here coming right now. Everywhere you look, there's cops. What's going on? But it seems like they're just giving them tickets. I guess I don't know what they're getting the tickets for. They're the guys that walk around with the music, but the migrants are all up against the wall. They're all there. People are passing by. Whew. Like you see everything. Yeah. Don't forget you're freezing out with the one and only Philly Dom. You're freezing out with me today. <laughs> you're freezing out with me. Whew. Is going on and then people are passing by and it's 220 42nd street and 7th Ave oh the migrant going back inside but yeah that's the another facility where they at and then every time I come by here they always just hanging out how they are they just hang out like that they just be hanging out against the wall talking to each other smoking cigarettes smoking other stuff um I don't know gathering their stalls and then you got some of them with the uh with the little book bags and stuff, you know, they're doing Uber Eats, like I said before, and other things. And then you got a NYPD out here giving out tickets to people on bikes right there. And I guess they're running their information and stuff. But this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Walk down a little bit more. Let's just see what's going on. That's how they living. So you can see. Like I said, most of them most, most of them are not working, so this is the best it's gonna get for them. And this is I'm giving them tickets and stuff. I don't know what's going on. Woo! I'm trying to record every little thing I can get for you guys and let you see the raw and cut footage. People <laughs> waving on the camera. <laughs> and they saying uh the camera I'm using is an Osmo Pocket. People always ask, what type of camera is that, Philly? It's an Osmo Pocket. That's what I'm using. An Osmo Pocket camera. But this is, I'm bumping into people. Sorry about that. I'm bumping into people. This is raw and cut footage. Uh, let me. So many people coming down the street. New York City. This is like the. This is it right here. This is I'm at the door. I mean this is as close as you can get. They always say, oh Philly, you're recording. You, you can't record here and they give me a whole bunch of trouble. But I don't know the name of this place. I'm not sure what the name of this place is. But I do know the other places, but I don't know the name of this place once again. They looking at me, they know I'm here. They probably like, oh he's out here. It's a guy out here recording. So I'll keep the a lot of uh migrants are coming out right now. Let me move up closer, I guess. Uh, 
Ooh, it's freezing. I bet it's nigga on one of them. Yeah. You get that raw footage. You get to see everything. And I'm like in the middle of the way, too. Yeah. Oh, you rocking it out. But this is it. This is it. This is raw footage. You see migrants coming in, migrants going out. Raw, uncut footage. Alright. We're gonna make our way to the next facility. Can you feel this energy in New York, man? But um, the struggle is real, so you know, you still see them there, but eventually, eventually a lot of them have to leave. And um, they're gonna have to find their way out here in the States while they're here, so. They're gonna make it. They're gonna make it one way or the other, I guess. I guess it's a show just letting out. I think it's like a Latin show or something that just let out. Some kind of Broadway show. Yeah, Latin. Uh, constant movement in New York City. Yeah. Uh, let's get through this crowd real quick. Philly. I think we'll stop by Bryant Park. Well, shout out to my boy, Big Hawk. We're we'll definitely stopped by Brian Park. Well, shout out to my boy, Big Hawk. Yonk is native. We at least gotta show you the beauty while I talk about what's going on with the migrant situation. We got Santa Claus right there. All right, let's go to the next uh, place. But well, let's stop by, like I said, we're gonna stop by Brian Park first. Yeah, once again, we on, uh, so you guys know. Let me sure I get this right. That's 7th Ave right in front of us. And it should be uh, 42nd. Yeah, we're on, we're on West 42nd Ave and 7th, 7th Ave. So West 42nd Street, West 42nd Street. And seven five. Now we crossing here. Woo! This weather is chilly. It's chilly. Woo! Whoa, White Cliff, wow. It was a White Cliff song. Shout out to the Fuji's from back in the day. We got past that crowd, so that was cool, guys. So we're walking up. Woo. So much is going on, so much is going on. Camera back, but yeah, this Osmo Osmo Pocky. This is Osmo 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 almost got ran over. Osmo Pocky camera. All right, so we got maybe like I don't know a street or two, and we'll be at Bryant Park, maybe less. I'm turning into a New Yorker. They gonna start calling me NYC Philly. But yeah, it looks like they give you guys the raw footage, the news, I just show that nobody records at night. Just so you can see, you know, how the migrants are um, living. So now, this is on our way to the Roosevelt Hotel, which is the intake center. So I don't see why we shouldn't stop through uh, Ryan Park, cause it's right there. So let's stop through there for a second but like i said make sure you share these videos give these videos a like and um let me know what you think of this migrant crisis situation you guys know you see me do a couple videos talking about the border cl closing in uh lukeville arizona and i got some friends down in arizona so 
I'm getting always updated footage. Not footage, but updated news. And I'm looking at news footage. And, you know, trying to understand what's going on. But today we're walking around in New York City in this cold weather. And also, if somebody's from Chicago, let me know what's going on with the migrant situation in Chicago. I got to start double checking into that again. Let me know what's going on. I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. If you guys can give me some information regarding the migrant situation in Chicago, because you figure if New York is cold, if New York is cold, you know definitely, 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 without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt, <laughs> Chicago is freezing and uh, it's a sad, sad, sad situation, you know. They're putting a lot of pressure on the community there, especially the south side of Chicago. And, you know, they don't... They don't want the migrants there. And, um, you know, I understand the fight. I understand the struggle. So now, yeah, we're in front of Bryant Park. It's right in front of us. Once we pass this light, once we pass this light, we'll go in Bryant Park for a minute so I can let you guys see some the beauty of New York. And then we'll go back to the struggle with the migrant situation. <laughs> but I feel, you know, got to show you everything. Because this is on the way. Once again, this is on the way to the Roosevelt Hotel, which is the intake center that any migrant that comes through New York City has to go to this place where we're going next. So let me go to Bryant Park real quick. If you ever have any time on your hands and you're in New York City, definitely pass through Bryant Park. Doesn't matter. When you come, make sure you come to Bryant Park. Doesn't matter when you come, make sure you come. It could be summer, winter, spring, fall, whatever. Just make sure you come through Bryant Park. This is gonna be a quick, 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 quick uh, walk through of Bryant Park so we can get back to this migrant situation at hand. Ooh, nice little shops, you know. Definitely feeling very Christmassy in New York City. Alright. Make sure you check it out. 
I felt compelled to make sure I passed through there. That's why I showed you guys Bryant Park, man. This is definitely a tourist attraction for New York City. Right here. Okay. There we go. Making our way out. Cleanest bathrooms in the world right here, I'll tell you. And Brian Park. Let's cross the street real quick. Woo! It's very Christmassy in the air here. Very Christmassy. What's this? Very Christmas. So right now we're just a couple streets away. We gotta go to uh, Madison. Madison. Madison Ave. And that's where the Roosevelt Hotel is at. Glad to get out of all that traffic and all the people. But uh, yeah, New York is in a struggle, man. New York is in the struggle. And they definitely in debt. And then also, the mayor is doing a, two more 5% cuts next year. So, uh, it's looking, looking, looking bad for New York. And now you can see the trash situation. More trash will pile up because they made cuts, so you'll have more trash in New York now because of the cuts. So basically, they won't be picking up the trash as frequently as they usually do. But obviously, they're gonna pick it up. Okay, we're almost. No, what street is we're on Fifth Avenue? We're coming up on Fifth Avenue. Everybody know about the notorious Fifth Avenue. Google it if you Google it if you don't know. Google it if you don't know. You gotta Google it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go down this way. We're gonna walk down Fifth Avenue. Because where I got to go is down that way, but over that way. Down that way, but over that way. So let's walk on down. Hopefully it's some action at the Roosevelt. Especially in the back of the building where all the migrants hang at. So now we're on Fifth Ave. And we're passing East 43rd Street. And I'm about to make this. I'm about to just step into the street. So I'm about to step into the street. I'm crossing. Oh man, New York, New York, man. New York, New York. And I'm going to. Um, uh, Let's go down this way. I always try to uh, do something different. As you can see, it's some more trash in front of us just sitting here. So uh, 
The New York struggle is real. It's trash right here, as you can see. And then right here, right in front of us, some trash. Once again, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. We got a lot of people watching. But we need more people to subscribe to the channel. For the percentage of people watching, we need a lot more subscribers. So please subscribe to my channel. I won't let you down with this migrant content footage. I'm a travel vlogger. Vlogger, vlogger, vlogger. Out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have traveled to many countries. And um, I'm a cool guy. And I'll give you all update footage and I'm real consistent with my videos and I'm always doing lives and I'm always doing these videos. So please make sure you subscribe to Philly Dom's channel. I'll greatly, greatly appreciate it. Oh, I hurry up across the street. I almost got ran over again. <laughs> there you go. Put more trash out. Let you see. So they'll pick up trash once again, like I said. It ain't like trash is not gonna be picked up in New York, but it won't be picked up as frequently as it was before because of the cuts. Okay, now we on Madison. Look, right here at this corner is Madison and East 40, 43rd Street. So now we're gonna cross the street. And usually I come through the front. I'm gonna walk past Madison and I'm gonna go through the, let's cut through the back, try something different. Well, I'm walking still to the front, but I'm gonna try to cut to the back. Or maybe I should go to the front. I see people with suitcases. I'm assuming that's some migrants. I'm assuming. My question is, when their 60 days is up, can they go back to the Roosevelt? If it's a family, can they go back to the Roosevelt and try to... Uh, Get some kind of housing. Yeah, I think there's some, some migrants. I'm almost 100% sure that migrants. There's no way you're gonna be with book bags going to the Roosevelt like this this late at night. My Philly senses tell me they're migrants. So the next 20 yards, they should be making a right. So I'm actually going in the front of the Roosevelt. Let's see what they're gonna do. See what they do. I'm following them. Exclusive footage. Only your boy, the one and only Philly Dom, can bring this type of uh, footage. Nope. Oh, yeah, they are. They're going. Yeah, they're going to. Uh, they're going to the Roosevelt. They're going to the Roosevelt. Some migrants. Yeah. It's a little accent in front of there. Ooh, so, uh, and that's the Roosevelt guys right there. That's the Roosevelt Hotel right there. So they got a little bit of action tonight. They got a little bit of action. It's not that late, but they got a little bit of action tonight. Oh yeah, they got all their bags. Still arriving. Moon. And there's some migrants that just walked out. Right there. Crossing the street. Yo, the paper. 
Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Yep, they're going in there. See, just like that. Just me walking here. I ain't here. See what I see? That quick. Man, right there in front of the, the Rosa Tower. There they go, right there. Yeah. Yeah. And this is another look at them from here. Thank you. That was nice of you. <laughs> All right, let's go. So now, they'll go in, they'll process them. Let's go to the back of the building. That's where they all hang at, in the back of the building. Ooh. Something going on back here. Always an ambulance. This is a notorious dumpster. Dumpster. We had a big interview right here. And this dumpster right here with a migrant. He said, All I want to do is work. Okay. We're approaching the back of the building. Once I make this left, you'll see the scooters, you'll see everything. People will be hanging out. It's just the norm. Boom. Guy hanging out on the scooter right there. See what I mean? This is the norm in the back of the, the building. <laughs> Guys waiting for rides on the thing. This is the norm. This is the norm. Ooh. It's a little crowded out here. I didn't think it was going to be this crowded out here, but it's a little crowded out here today. But I already know this is where everybody hangs from doing so many videos. You just get used to the, what it's going to be. I just know, I know what's going on. I know what's going on, so I'm used to it now. This is it. What's up, man? Everybody just hanging out. This is Cops. Selling snacks and stuff. I told you. Let me show you the scooters, you know. That's the, the landmark for this. <laughs> the scooter situation. The road scooters, so y'all believe me. I, I already know. Y'all see that everything, but the scooters are what makes everything very official here. Ooh. So I pass through the best way I can, let you guys see everything that's going on. Uh, we'll keep the camera right here, let you see everything that's going on. And they're going in. That's it, everybody going in right there. I have a scooter right here, side of me. It's that raw footage. You know, this is the back of the NYC road, and you got everybody hanging out over there. This is what they do. That's it. This is a migrant situation here. This is the intake center. Anybody? When they first come, this is where they come first, this is where they stay first, and then they ship them to other places. And look like migrants are still coming, they're still coming, they're still coming, they're still coming. They're still coming. It's the Roosevelt, Roosevelt Hotel. Google the Roosevelt Hotel, find out about the history of this famous hotel that they're using. Yeah. Oh, they don't even let the migrants stand in front of there. Okay, see? Some of them are going in right now with Macy bags and Nike bags. 
Life must be good. I see Nike bags and Macy bags. Life, life must be good. Oh, a lot of them got Air Force Ones. Like, I see two Air Force Ones. Like, they, 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 they living. They living. The struggle is real, but they figuring it out. From what I can see, they're figuring it out. The struggle is real, but they definitely, they definitely, definitely, definitely figuring it out. People everywhere. Woo! I'm doing content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you thought I was silly? No, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. The military told me don't get them on camera, so I ain't gonna get them on camera. U.S. military ain't gonna get them on camera. Out of respect. I got respect for the U.S. military, so thanks for serving, guys, man. Thanks for your service. Let's go around the front. Let's see what's going on around the front. Okay, now we're going to go back around the front to see what's going on around there with this everyday life. I wasn't expecting to see a, a, a family coming in as I was uh, walking in. So you need 24 hours, something is going on at the, uh, the NYC. The NYC Road Hotel. As you can see. I just got a baby cart in the middle of the street. I'm gonna run. Oh, okay, the family's good. I just worry. <laughs> Okay, so the people that came out, they let them in. So it's like nobody at the front right now. Nobody at the front right now. They will be right there. So they got them inside the building. Then they got a uh, New York transportation there. Let's go around the back. We'll go around the back once again. The back is where all the action's at. Make sure you give my videos a like, share my videos, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. We have a lot of people watching, but we need more people to subscribe. So subscribe to my channel. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Everybody that's watching just to be subscribed. So please take the time out and subscribe to Philly Dom's YouTube channel. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'm just giving you this raw footage and that you see everyday life and what's going on with the migrants when the new cameras are cut off. <laughs> All the action's in the back, so we go to the back. <laughs> Let me cross the street, too. They got this looking like the hood out here. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, uh, this is the back of the building. It ain't really too much. They're just hanging out on me. Uh, we'll just keep walking down. This is it. This is how they how they living. <laughs> there you go. I'll keep the videos coming. I'll keep them coming. I'll keep them posting them. I'll keep them coming. Give you your inside look into the migrant world in New York City. In the NYC, migrant crisis in New York City. See the bikes here. See everything, man. Look. They got bikes here. It's just, it's just crazy back here. And you already know about them not having no license plates and stuff. Everybody knows about all that. Oh. Who out here? It's cold out here, man. But um, 
Let me walk back in front of the building. Let me walk back in front, not the front of the building, but let me walk back in the back. Give me some more footage. Maybe I'll go on the side of the building. Or maybe I'll just walk down here one more time. Let me walk through here one more time, I guess. You guys can see everything that's going on. Let me just walk through. Yeah. I'll give you that. You can see everything that's going on. When the news cameras in here, it's still going. They do. They hang out. <sighs> Raw footage. All right, once again, make sure to give my videos a like. Make sure you support the one and only Philly Dom. And more and more the videos to come. <laughs> the hustle and bustle in New York City. Walk, we walk into the front one more time, guys. Maybe I can walk to another facility if I have time. Because they're all over. They're all over. It's another argument out here. He just waiting for his car, jump on his scooter, and he'd make the delivery. I'm just checking the front again to see what's going on in the front. Raw footage. Uh, maybe I'll try to make it. I can't promise. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. No, it's empty at the front, so the road is kind of quiet right now. <sighs> we gonna cross the street. We won't get hit if we don't get hit first. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's the regular bus. Oh, okay, and then uh, let's just hold on before I walk away. This is the front, ain't nobody there. As you can see, it's empty. That's why I'm leaving. All right, let's, uh, let's walk towards Times Square. I'll try, you know, I'll try my best. I can't promise you guys yet, but I'll try. I'll make it to another facility. They're all over the place. Trash situation once again. And we're walking towards uh, Times Square and then see if we can cut towards another facility. Should be it's just, it's a couple good blocks from here. A couple good blocks. But once again, make sure you get a video like, make sure you share the videos, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. Hopefully, if the battery lasts, we'll do it. Come on, the trash situation. But hopefully, the battery lasts. But they still coming, as you can see. They're still coming to New York City.
wonderful time of the year. Yeah. Most wonderful time of the year. So we're heading toward Times Square. Then we're gonna make a left once we get once we get the time. Once we get to Times Square. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you, I get a lot of exercise doing this. Guys, I get a lot of exercise doing this. This will definitely keep you in shape. These walk and talk videos will definitely keep you in shape. <laughs> Somebody want to keep in shape with these walk and talk videos and actually walk to the places. will keep you in shape 100%. 100%. Uh, so we're just waiting to cross. Got some bad news. The red light came on my camera. When the red light comes on, that means I ain't got much time left before the camera cuts off. So we'll be lucky if we can make it to Times Square. Let's see if we can make it to Times Square. Um, I'll do some more videos tomorrow. So I'll go start at that other facility first. And I'm going through other neighborhoods that I ain't been to in a while. But uh, this is it. What's up, my brother? So we just gonna keep walking until the camera can't go no more. But it's, it's blinking, the red light is on. So, uh, Times Square, here we come. And if I can make it, which don't mean, I don't know how much juice I'm gonna have, but I'm walking fast as I can. But if not, like I said before, I'll just go tomorrow to that facility. And I'll, uh, I'll record some footage for you. So it's not over. It's not over yet. More trash on the streets. And the food shortage. <laughs> New York is taking care of too many people. That's why they're having a food shortage. <laughs> I forgot to talk about that earlier. They're taking care of too many people. <laughs> That's why they're having a food shortage. Too many people. Oh, man, guys, the camera's blinking. I don't know how far it's going to go, but once again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe so I can give you this content and this footage on a daily basis. And make sure you give my videos a like. And please support your boy.